Hey, welcome back to the channel. Got a little something on the bench for you here. So we had a question about these little test pads. Um, we're going to do a little continuity here with our multimeter um, video on my channel. Uh, if you need to know how to do that, but let's go ahead and zoom in here and I'll show you what these little test pads are doing. All right. So if we're looking at these little test pads, we got one right here. We have one right here and we have one right here. So this outer test pad is for the outer pin for the motor plug. Um, it does not continuity to the other two. This little pad here is for the center pin. This little pad is for the outer pin. Okay, not these two. If you were to bridge a little bit of solder here between these two, or you bridge solder between the center pin and the uh, test pad, that's fine. Obviously, it's too far away to bridge from here to here. But these two right here, if you bridge these, it's fine. But if you bridge uh, between any of these two, so these two here, the pad and the pin, with this pad or pin, that's a problem. So uh, you can put lots of flux on here and um, wick away any solder bridges you might have. But like I said, if you have a little solder bridge between here, you should be totally fine. Um, and then these pads here, these test pads here, one and two, these are um, data and clock for this microcontroller. These two pa uh, pads here are for this microcontroller. Those two are for that one. Those two are for that one. Uh, so that's what these, they're just test pads. So the manufacturer can um, test the board and then also in here they can program the microcontrollers quickly, so on and so forth. But hopefully that helped you out. Let me zoom out here. Hopefully that helped you out. And, you know, if it did, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If it, uh, if you hated it, <laughs> give it a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.